What's up, man, fans, guys? I want to quickly apologize to everybody out there for the release of this guide being so delayed. Uh, a lot of things have been going down, and unfortunately, I just have not been able to uh, put the time in to be able to fix it. And then when I do a video, it gets deleted or it gets uh, mis mistaped, and the audio doesn't show up. Hopefully those problems will be fixed for the launch of Madden 15. I'm going to have a lot of content coming out then. As you guys know, last year I tried to make it at my almost job to post about four videos a day. And uh, I look forward to maybe maybe not quite doing that much, but still going to be doing a lot of stuff for Madden 15 coming around the corner. I'm going to have some ebooks drop, and this is kind of a sample to give you a little taste of what they might be like. Um, these will also be read out. This one's not actually going to be on video format. But uh, today we are talking about the Nickel 335 defense. Uh, I've got a couple of things I want to introduce to you first and foremost. I use the San Francisco 49ers uh, defensive playbook. You could use other playbooks. The reason I like this playbook most, though, is for plays like this. If you go to the 3-4 normal, you'll see here that there's some unique uh, cover three plays, like the cover three sink um, and then like the cover three buzz and stuff like that that this playbook offers that not most do. now. Depending on what the playbooks look like next year, will depend on what formation, what playbook I actually uh, select for this 335. But for right now, this is what I'm doing. Now, the 335 audibles that I'm going to be talking about, and the idea behind it is that we want to be able to kind of have plays that are good against everything and then have certain strengths, certain weaknesses that we can do in terms of the zone coverage behind it and in terms of uh, the blitz pressure, where the blitzes are coming from. We could set pressure up both ways on almost all of these plays to be able to send right, left, and dual edge pressure. But what I focus in on today is the mentality of what we're going to do with the stock plays because almost all the setups out of that I'm going to give you today are universal setups that you can do out of every play. But um, what is important to note is the zone coverage behind it, when to call what, and, and kind of how they work together as a unit. Now, the play we want to come out in every single time is in this uh, base play here. This loop crash three, it's one of my favorite plays. It's one of the most versatile plays in the playbook. The yellows play really nice. There's a lot you could do with the zone coverage and behind it and the way that the blitzers are set up. It's easy, uh, easy for us to set up pressure out of it. Now, another play that you might consider coming out in from time to time, uh, especially against like four or five wide, is the two man under. There's a uh, little bonus play that I'm going to show you at the end of the guide. It's going to show you how to set up a little, uh, little four man pressure out of this play. And uh, it's not the best blitz, but it is a very good blitz. Put, um, very good blitz, but it's got great coverage behind it, especially for like spread sets where you can get that two man under trail coverage press on the outside. It makes it very difficult for the offense to do anything. But uh, starting off, let's talk about this loop crash three. Now, real quickly, what I want to point out is that we typically like to send right edge pressure off of this uh, out of this play. And so we're going to set that up. So imagine those blitzers on the left as zone swap. So you could put almost everybody on the left side of the field in a zone. And this is what's going to be good about this play is because when you can do that, now all of a sudden that safety coming over and rotating down becomes a nice strength to your defense. Your middle linebacker goes into a nice little unique hook zone. And if you can just imagine those two blitzers, like I said, on the left side, maybe going into a hook zone and a curl flat zone, it makes this play really locked down. It does a nice job. It's, it's just a great base play. You have two guys on both sides of the field. Uh, so you have four underneath and three deep, which is just a basic coverage. And it's, it's a nice little base play to have. Have, uh, with this defense so that's what this play is going to be used for if we want to send it off the left side um, then what you're going to have very strong coverage to the right so that may be something you want to do if maybe they're like trips right or bunch right and you really want to load the coverage up to the right side of the field you may call this loop crash three send the pressure off the left side and just imagine taking that blitzing linebacker on the right side of the field and putting him into maybe like a flat zone or a curl flat zone and that's what that what we're going to do with that play uh, next play I want to touch on real quick, and that uh, Luke Garcia's base play. Uh, the next play I want to touch on is my run, uh, like pro set base. So if they're like strong close or iPhone Pro or something like that, I'll call this LB Dogs. LB Dogs is a good play because you got both outside linebackers coming. We're going to be able to show you how to set up right edge pressure out of it. Another thing that's really good about this play is the fact that it's balanced across the board, and the strength of the three three five is the fact that you're you're, uh, you have a corner on the left side, so it's almost like a 3-4, but the 3-4 is shifted to the left. When we do our line shifts and everything else, this is going to make it more balanced. It, it has a really nice job at containing almost every run in the game. Now, it won't stop every run cold, 
and that's where we get into like the loop crash two cat blitz two roll and cb fox blitz but this lb dogs for all intents and purposes will do a decent job at stopping majority of those runs especially when you consider that you can user control that safety that's in the deep blue zone bring him down into the box and uh, make some plays with him uh, loop crash two this is going to be a play that we like to use uh, in situations obviously we like the coverage out of it. if you just take a notice it's a cover two shell as opposed to the mo most of these plays we're going to be running a cover three shell but the cover two shell from this is unique it's also good because you can set up pressure off the left side very easily um, you can e you can easily set up right edge pressure as well I don't typically send the right edge out of this I typically send the left edge um, but I will show you how to do all the setups later uh, in, in videos to come. But the loop crash too is really effective for taking away the left side run. Okay, so like if they're running buck sweep to the left or strong power to the left, you call this loop crash too. Maybe user the safety on the right side of the field, bring him down in the box, and all of a sudden you become pretty good against the left side run. Another thing that I want to point out moment uh, quickly here is the fact that this is a, a decent play in terms of when if we're talking passing situations. Uh, this is a decent play in like a short yarded situation. Uh, you know, you can send some passive pressure, three man pressure out of this, drop another maybe hook zone from the D line, and get some decent uh, coverage for quick passes and still have some pressure on behind it. Uh, one of my favorite plays in the game is this Cat Blitz 2 roll. I love this play. Uh, it's really good for stopping everything to the right side of the field, or if they're running right or if they're throwing right. What I love about this play is this hook zone that the safety is doing he's going to really uh, it's almost as if the safety is in a is in a flat zone slash curl flat zone and he plays it almost like that but he'll jump stuff like he'll jump like streaks and he'll jump post routes and stuff like that and so this is a nice change up play if they're maybe hitting you to the deep middle of the field like the deep like the z spot from the gun bunch week this play does a really nice job especially when you consider that you can use or control the middle linebacker maybe make him go a little bit deeper it's a nice cover to sink type of play but you're also still going to be able to send pressure and another added bonus about this is that it stops almost every run to the right side of the field uh, in the game including the buck sweep and the strong power CB Fox Blitz is similar to the Cat Blitz 2 roll, but it's a little bit more uh, passive. What I like about the CB Fox Blitz is it does a good job at stopping outside runs. So maybe they're in pistol ace, and you don't know if they're going to run the strong power to the right or to the left. Well, you might try to call this CB Fox Blitz, user or safety coming down, and it turns into a decent play, especially once we do our line shifts and stuff like that. So CB Fox Blitz is good for that. Passing-wise, the CB Fox Blitz brings to the table is you're able to send two-man pressure out of it. And so just imagine that left side that, that's blitzing, put him in a curl flat zone. You use that middle linebacker in the middle. All of a sudden, you can watch that right kind of line, right hash mark area of the field with that hook zone middle linebacker. It just turns this play into a monster. These plays are really good, guys, against the pass and the run. When you use them in the right conjunction, it can really confuse people because if you notice, the zones are almost different to every play. And they change and they adapt. And what is good about this is maybe something that the CB Fox Blitz can stop maybe the loop crest you can't and that's why we have you know different types of plays in our audibles as opposed to maybe having the same play and running it out of just different you know just different shells or different uh, things like that we have actual unique zone drops here that we're getting and then one thing to close uh, this introduction video is if someone's running on you inside because that's the one weakness of the three through five is you don't have a lot of guys in the middle it's a spread out formation and because of that, you don't have a whole lot of guys in the middle of the field. A couple plays I would suggest uh, is the LB cross blitz, uh, just the man version. If you just call that, it actually does a pretty decent job. You don't do anything to it. Um, the strong safety mic blitz three, uh, I like to do that. And you could just set it up like we set up all of our other plays and run two-man right edge pressure out of it <coughs> and be fine. And then the other play, the LB cross three, kind of the same as the blitz, but it's a zone blitz version. It brings the safety down. Uh, and, and these kind of three plays are really good for stopping the middle run. Uh, obviously, the dogs all go. Uh, maybe even the cover three is good for it. But, uh, yeah, you just want to try different things with this. Um, but you have a lot of options here. You could even run the 3 3 5 2 under blitz to stop the inside run. It actually does a pretty decent job. All right, guys, to close this video, I want to also quickly recommend one of the other reasons I use this form. Like I said, again, I use this is because – the 335 and the 245 are very easy to kind of mingle and intermix. I don't do a whole lot as far as blitzing from the 245 uh, outside of run the A gap that Tweezy uh, runs. Everybody knows at this point in the season. But as far as um, 
you know, play calling, we see we got a couple of unique plays here. You don't see in a lot of playbooks. This is why I like San Francisco. Uh, you've got the cover three buzz, the three overload blitz, silver shoot pinch, and the cover two sink. Those are my audibles from this formation. And the cover three buzz is a really good cover defense, just easy to set up. Cover two sink again, same kind of concept. And then the three overload blitz is the zone version of the silver shoot pinch, which is the A-gap uh, that we've seen Tweezy run all year. The uh, only other play that I will mention here before I get out of here is uh, you might want to try out this corner roll. You can actually send two – with sending only two people, you can get a guy free off that left edge. But you guys can work on that in the lab. But this is the San Francisco 49ers introduction uh, to the 3-3-5 guide. And then, uh, guys, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to show you every single play individually. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the right edge pressure, the left edge pressure, and the double edge pressure. I'm going to show you the setups. I'm going to write the setups down on the Facebook page. So if you guys are not over at the Facebook page, facebook.com slash maddentips365, you can check all that out over there. Those are where the setups will be. Uh, make sure you like the Facebook page so you can get access to those. And um, then what we're going to do is, like I said, I'm going to show you right edge pressure, left edge pressure, and double edge pressure. And then the only other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to show you some depth charts, and I'm going to show you a gameplay with this and uh, let you guys see it in action. But that's kind of what I want to do with this. I feel like it's simple, but it's the 335 is a very simple defense, guys. But what it what makes it really good is its adaptability and its um, kind of independent ability in the fact that it is or it's in its uniqueness because it's simple in terms of setups like setups are pretty simple uh, almost all these setups are the same but the way that the zones play the way that the formation aligns very well I think that it's just a really good formation I think it could stop a lot members you know defense is not about the flashiest blitz or the um, you know the best coverage defense but it's about getting stops at the end of the day and this 335 will do it for you if you run it properly thanks for checking this out guys if you have any questions uh, hit me up on Facebook uh, like, again, like I said again facebook.com slash madtips365 and uh, look forward to the rest of this guide and then also be sure to be on the lookout for my Madden 15 content Content.